guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about certain high paying skills that you can learn as a freelancer so according to this survey that i came across it was by paypal an average indian freelancer earns somewhere between 19 lakhs to 20 lakhs in the survey 23 percent and that's a huge number 23 percent of the freelancers earned an annual income of 60 lakhs per annum and that is amazing, right? But how do these guys do it? What kind of services are they offering? And that is exactly what we are going to deal in this video. We are going to be talking about certain high paying skills that you can learn and start offering as a freelancer where you are going to get paid a ton of money. So the first thing we are going to talk about is content writing. I have made a detailed video on how to be a content writer if you have no experience which you can check out here. Now, as a content writer, you are going to be writing content for various businesses. Now, the secret behind earning a lot of money with content writing is to pick up a niche which is profitable and a little complicated, right? So, for example, medical writing, technology writing, write about artificial intelligence, cryptocurrency, cloud computing, etc. versus writing about lifestyle, productivity, pet writing, etc. The more complex your writing niche is going to be, the more you're going to get paid. So let me give you an example. When I started out, I started out as a technology writer who was comfortable writing machine learning, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, etc. The first proper technology writing gig that I got, I was paid six rupees per word and it was an Indian client. The first thing that I want you to understand is that technology companies have huge marketing budget and they understand the importance of content marketing. The second thing, because they understand that technology requires a lot of research and understanding, they're okay with paying you as much as six rupees to 10 rupees per word for your article if you can do a good job of it. So pick up a niche which is a little complicated, which requires a little bit of more work than comparatively simpler niches like lifestyle or travel writing. I found an article on Engineering Babu and we are going to go over it and we are going to see what the top freelancers, top freelance writers of India make. Okay, now let's go and check. I'm going to quickly go over what a few top freelance content writers in India charge. So there is Mukti. She has been writing content for more than 14 years now and started her stint with Times of India. That means she had experience and she charges somewhere around 2 to 4 rupees per word. Priyanka Desai is pretty popular, so I'm pretty sure she charges a lot of money to write the content. It's not mentioned here. The next one is Samarpita and she charges rupees 8 per word and you can check out her work here. So you can go and check out what kind of um, services she offers. There is Bhavna Agarwal who charges a minimum of 6 rupees per word. There is RP who charges $50 for 500 words. Ms. Matthew, who charges 3 to 5 rupees per word, although he charges 15 cents per word for US clients. So you can see that there are a lot of people who are charging at least 2 to 4 rupees per word and you can too. If you are an established freelance writer in any niche, you can charge as much as 7 rupees, 8 rupees or 15 cents per word. The second skill that you should learn if you're interested in it is copywriting. Now, copywriting is all about making sales and converting audiences into paid customers. What I want you to understand is copywriting is very different than content writing. Basic aim of content writing is to uh, create awareness for the brands, to give out value, to give out information to the clients or to their target customers. But cop the entire aim of copywriting is to make sales. If you are a copywriter, and if you have written a blog, the entire aim of the blog is to get them to get into the funnel by signing up, for example. But if you have written a sales page, then a copywriter's job would be to make sure that there are more and more conversions because of that sales page. So your aim as a copywriter is to make sales for the business and to make them more money with the use of content. So depending upon what kind of results and what kind of conversion rates you can uh, get for your clients, copywriters have paid thousands and thousands of dollars. Now let's go on Upwork and see what are the top copywriters of India are charging right now. So let's just hop on to Upwork and see what copywriters in India usually charge. So you can see that 
people are charging from $35 per hour to even $60, $70, $70 to even $100 per hour as a copywriter. So you can see that the top copywriters of India actually charge a good amount of money. So even if you're charging like $50 per hour and you're working, let's say, four hours in a day, then you are going to be earning almost around $200, which is around 12,000 rupees in one day. So you can see that it's a lot of money. So as you scale up, you can charge even more like $100 per hour and uh, you can make a ton of money as a good copywriter. As a copywriter, you could do various kind of things so you could be writing direct sales copy in a newspaper in an ad in a magazine for example you could write email copies and create funnels that converts uh, you can write sales pages and landing pages you can do website copywriting social media copywriting and there are just so many more things that you can do as a copywriter the next thing that you can do is to become a sales funnel builder so what i want you to understand is there are three stages to anything so first you get first you create brand awareness so your customers know about you then you get them to the next stage where you're nurturing them with content where you're giving them information trying to tell them that they have a problem then the next stage is to tell them that they have a problem and your product might be the solution to it so you get them on your email list for example you get them in your Facebook groups you get them to follow you on uh, various social media platforms and then finally, the last stage, the bottom of the funnel is basically to convert them. So you're converting them with your sales page, your website copy, your blog post, etc. This is what, a, so the content is created by a copywriter, like I said. But what a sales funnel builder does is to build this entire sales funnel. The ones who decide then what happens when they sign up. So when they sign up, this is the email that is delivered to them. If they take this action, then this is the email that gets delivered to them. If they not, if they did not take action, then the email will be sent them sent to them again and there is an entire complex funnel that is being created which is automated by sales funnel builders it is a very complex job because there is a lot of technical aspect to it and you also need to understand marketing and copywriting to ensure that the entire funnel works properly but if you understand if you are interested in sales funnels and it is one of the highest paying freelancing uh, space there is the next high paying skill that you can learn is email marketing so depending upon what kind of email marketing specialist you're going to become if you can get conversions and if you can get people to open up your emails you can increase the click rates you can increase the conversion rates then you can get paid a lot of money now again for becoming an email marketing specialist not only do you need to understand the technical aspects of it like the tools and stuff but you also need to understand copywriting now let's see what are the email marketers on Upwork are offering and what are they charging. Let's see what the top email marketers on Upwork are doing and charging. So I see that there is Sandeep S. He is an email deliverability and email marketing expert who charges $200 in an hour. So if we see what he does, you can see that the service provided are email de deliverability consultation, large scale email infrastructure warm-up services, tools implementation, strategy, affiliate, email marketing strategy and so on. You can check out each one contains what kind of things and uh, you can see that he charges $200 an hour which is a lot of money. You can also see that there is Arul. Arul charges $40 an hour for his services and uh, he offers things like uh, email deliverability and cold B2B email automation. You can check out his profile and see what all things he offers. So depending upon what kind of email marketing services you're offering and what kind of results that you can drive with your strategy, you can charge anywhere from $20 to $30 per hour to up to $200 per hour. Now the next area, the next high paying skill is to start coaching or consulting. Now if you have a skill already, what you can do is to give advice to others and help them make progress. Now this need not be some amazing mind-blowing progress it could be as simple as giving them clarity on their next steps that is you coaching them on the skill that you have so write down what are, what are the skills you have what are the things that you can teach others and you can start your own consulting business the good thing about consulting business is that people charge thousands of rupees for each and every hour of consulting so i know consultants that charge 10,000 rupees to 15,000 rupees to even 50,000 rupees per hour to give you 
valuable advice on how to grow your business or how to grow your skills or how how to do your next steps etc so coaching and consulting is a highly highly paid skill right now the next one is pinterest manager now you need to understand that pinterest is used by two sorts of people pinterest is used used by bloggers and pinterest is used by e-commerce industry now if you can create pins create a pinterest strategy that drives traffic to e-commerce sites and get people to buy from them then you can uh, you can earn a ton of money from pinterest the other good thing about becoming a pinterest manager is most of your clients are going to be international there is a lot of demand for pinterest internationally and you can get access to it and you can exploit that opportunity for yourself now because i've worked personally on pinterest i have a pinterest account i've also hired pinterest managers and i've also offered pinterest management services i can tell you that as a pinterest manager you should not ever ever charge below 250 dollars a month for managing pinterest and that is without creating images without creating a ton of images actually if you're creating 10 to 15 images a month that is fine but if you're creating a ton of images like 60 images then you can charge as much as 400 to 450 dollars in a month for managing pinterest accounts your job as a pinterest manager would be to create strategy to ensure that there's conversions you would have to run pinterest ads or you have to create pins write keyword do some keyword research and write descriptions and captions accordingly the next one is also a part of social media marketing that is becoming an instagram manager these days every business wants to be an instagram because it is one of the most engaging platform there is to build a community so if you can get on instagram right now and start offering instagram management services and uh, showcase results then yes you can earn a lot of money you can begin with as low as 10000 rupees a month to manage uh, manage instagram and scale up to 20 to 40000 a month for managing pinterest accounts for various clients and brands start learning ads on instagram then you can charge even higher than that because that's a skill that is highly highly paid i've also created a detailed video on how to become a social media manager which you can check out here the next high paying skill is graphic designing i have also created a detailed video on how to be a graphics designer we can check out here now basic graphic designer you can use simple tools like canva but that is not going to pay you a lot of money if you want to earn a decent amount of income as a graphics designer you need to get into logo designing for example or industrial designing packaging material designing or ui ux designing which is paid a ton of money while i've covered everything in this video and you can go check that out let me tell you from my personal experience two things my friend who is a logo designer charges as much as 25000 rupees for one logo design and second thing i have paid 12000 rupees for getting six pages design on a rupee it was a block planner so you can understand how profitable this industry is so research find a niche for yourself and start learning the tools and start offering graphic designing services the next one is affiliate manager a lot of affiliate companies a lot of product based companies who have affiliate programs so if you don't know what is an affiliate program somebody uses your link to make a purchase you get a commission from it that is what an affiliate link is that is what affiliate commissions are and a lot of companies have affiliate programs a lot of bloggers have affiliate programs and all of these guys require an affiliate manager as an affiliate manager your job would be to manage the entire affiliate program to come up with ideas to expand to ensure that whoever is an affiliate is good quality affiliate who is giving you good quality lead that affiliates are being paid on time if there is any problem there is refunds if there is any problem with your affiliate uh, affiliate you are solving that properly you're working on the strategy to make it better etc these these are the kind of things you will be doing as an affiliate manager and you can easily charge as much as 20000 to 30000 rupees per month and more as a good affiliate manager now the last high paying skill on my list is of course and of course you have guessed it right guys video editing video marketing is obviously a um, in demand thing right now everybody is creating videos they are creating videos everywhere on every social media platform so it is a great time to be a video editor if you start working with youtubers for example you can charge as much as 3000 to 5000 or more to edit each and every video of theirs the more you learn the more tools that you know the higher you can charge so for example if you are working on imovie or filmora you might not be charging as much as if you are doing something on final cut pro or premiere pro and making sure that it looks visually appealing 
and it looks like a movie if you are doing all the color correction and a lot of other advanced skill, advanced things on these tools then you can charge a lot more a few tools that you can look at and which are popular are obviously iMovie Filmora Final Cut Pro Premiere Pro DaVinci etc these are the tools that you can start looking at so where do you start learning these high paying skills first thing that you can do is to go on google type out what you want to learn and write free courses and you will have a combination of things on google you will find a lot of courses on google so you can start there a few platforms that i personally know of are hubspot coursera udemy and skillshare there are tons and tons of great courses and videos on these platforms to learn and there is of course youtube videos where you can learn a lot of these skills from i hope this helped you out and just to wrap it up let's just summarize what are the skills that you can start with so the first one is content writing the second one is copywriting the third one is sales funnel builders the fourth one is to become an email marketing expert the fifth one is to get into coaching or consultancy the sixth one is to become a pinterest manager the seventh one is to become an instagram manager the eighth one is to become an affiliate manager the ninth one is to become a graphics designer and the last one is to become a video editor so let me let me know in the comment section guys which one of it resonates with you the most and i will see you next week guys